Hey guys, getting round to the Ask the Coach um, questions. So, without further ado, we're Neil Barrett. What programming method do you use on your clients? How do you break macro into meso and micro cycles? And do you recommend an annual rest period? That's a great question, Neil. And to answer it, we've kind of got to give you a broader outlook of how we program for us. So, I'm just going to start here. Um, we basically program with a yearly cycle building up to the CrossFit Games. Um, why is this important for all your clients, even though Many of them may not care about the sport aspect of things. Number one is that they see lasting progress. We have clients here between two and four years and they're still seeing improvements. Improvements in terms of being able to snatch more weight, lift more weight, run faster, do more pull-ups. And it's important that people can make improvement beyond that sort of initial I've gone from doing nothing to exercise phase. Another thing with the yearly cycle or having a long-term view is it prevents overuse you might get into a cycle of, oh, we love wall balls, or oh, we'll do more burpees, because we need to do more burpees, or we'll do more body weight stuff. Um, or the other flip side of that is neglect. You might go for months and months without doing anything that's particularly important, such as your heavy squats or your deadlifting work. So that's, pretty, that's why you have that long-term view. We also want to focus on the most important pieces, i.e. that which has carryover. So obviously your heavy squats are going to have carryover, your Olympic lifts are going to have carryover to a lot of other movements. Okay? And basically what that means is we do training here, not just exercising. And to give you a very, again, this is a very truncated video, to give you a very brief explanation of it. Training, it's building day on day, week on week, month on month. You can see when you come into our classes, we have a lot of percentage work. because We want to build the skills progressively. Versus exercising is coming in and just getting a sweat. And sure, it has that immediate term benefit of, oh, I got a sweat on today. But it doesn't lend itself to that continual progress we feel our clients deserve. So, how our year looks, roughly, and this is very truncated, and this is essentially stolen from a gentleman, uh, Michael Winchester, in Texas. So, credit to coachwinchester.blogspot.com or .wordpress.com. Do a search for Coach Winchester and you'll find it. Basically, from about August, September time to about January, February time, we're going to work on maximum strength. Why? Because strength, um, strength is the bucket to fill your conditioning. Strength builds conditioning. And um, basically, if you can pick up 100 kilos, picking up 60 kilos 30 times or 40 kilos 50 times is relatively easy. Picking up 40 kilos 50 times doesn't lend itself to picking up 100 kilos once. So strength builds conditioning. During that time, we'll focus primarily on aerobic endurance. And what this means is our Metcons aren't hindering our strength gains. How you do this is you just ensure the weights are either lower or you focus on things like box jumps, kettlebell swings, wall walls, running, burpees, rowing, stuff which doesn't interfere with the muscles recovery from the strength work. Then from March into July, um, for those of you who are astute, you'll know that's when the opens right through the regionals, right through the games happens. That's when we're working on muscular endurance. It's around this time of year that we'll start introducing that uh, fantastic 20 rep squat cycle that everyone loves. And our workouts will then become heavier. So that's what we mean by the specific endurance of CrossFit. So that's a very long-winded way of getting around to your question of how we program to answer your question into breaking into meso and micro cycles. For those who don't know, micro cycles the shorter cycle, so it might be about a week. Meso can be two weeks to eight weeks, and then macro is your longer cycle. Um, it depends on where we are in the year and what our current achievements are, and again, that, our current aims, I should say. And that can be anywhere from four weeks, maybe up to a 16-week cycle. And it depends on where we are and what we're trying to achieve. Again, this is a very broad overview, and you can really dig into the uh, bits and bobs of it. But we wanted to give you a broad overview of how we train. Again, the big thing is that we're strength and conditioning. We're not just exercising, and we're always building, always developing. And the benefit to our clients is they continue to see gains month after month, year after year.